Meat Boy is back. Today I'm going to show you guys a healthy cheeseburger recipe. Not exactly carnivore, but pretty close. The only ingredient that's not carnivore is the burger buns. And that's going to be the main topic of debate. Other than that, we're just using really high quality animal products in the place of the things that you would normally put in a cheeseburger. So this is going to be a really simple recipe focusing on nutrient density. Like we're not doing any sort of crazy mayonnaise, caramelized onions, stuff like that. The base of the burger is going to be Wagyu ground beef, 100% grass fed, really nutritious. Of course, raw cheese, which is where the bulk of the nutrition in this burger is probably coming from, as all raw dairy products have pretty much all the fat soluble vitamins, a lot of B vitamins, plenty of minerals, really a complete food. And then we have some grass fed butter that we're going to brush on the burger buns. Of course, salt and pepper, uh, classic burger seasonings, and this is where things get up in the air. So, in a perfect world, Frankie Boy would be showing you how to make like organic einkorn wheat burger buns, but you know, most of us don't have two weeks to ferment a sourdough starter and then five, six, seven hours to prepare the actual buns. You know, I went to Whole Foods, I saw this organic brand, and I'm gonna be honest, it, it's not the best. It has you know, organic wheat flour, filtered water, organic cane sugar, which is not too bad, but they did add some canola oil, some sunflower oil in small amounts, you know, some kind of chemicals like ascorbic acid, dough softener, some extracts, yeast, processing stuff. So, so again, this is not the best option here. You know, if you're really sensitive, use some mushrooms, use some lettuce wraps, don't use a burger bun, make something yourself. The point of this is, if you're not as strict on your diet, if you want to give this to your kids, if you want to feed this to your family, you know, some organic burger buns or, you know, some organic sourdough bread from a local market. Although, like, yeah, the sourdough bread isn't like a burger bun. You know, there's definitely some good options out there that you don't have to make yourself that are perfectly reasonable to have a couple of times a week. And again, it depends on your state of health. You know, is this going to destroy someone's gut that's in a poor state of health? Possibly. But, you know, for my family, for my sister... Uh, they're going to be perfectly fine with this. And again, you don't have to spend a crazy amount of time or money invested to make your own burger buns. Before I get everything ready, I'm going to turn my grill on so it's nice and hot for when we have the burgers assembled. So I just started my gas grill. I actually took out these grease plates and I put a wire rack right over the burner so I can just lay wood on top of them. Have a gas started wood fire that's really quick. Uh, so we'll have a nice flame to cook these burgers in just a few minutes. This is super simple. You know, we're just going to form the burger patties, season them, grate the cheese, and then head out to the grill. So this is some Wagyu beef we currently have on Frankie's free range meat. People really like the flavor. You know, the texture and, and taste is definitely different from regular ground beef. Really, really fresh stuff. You can smell like the nuttiness in the beef. If you guys want to get some of this, I think we still have about 100 left on Frankie's free range meat. Probably get us through the weekend. You know, so in past ground beef, you know, recipes, you guys might have seen me add like butter, fish sauce, a bunch of different seasonings to the mix. With a burger, I really like letting the quality of the meat shine through with just salt and maybe sometimes pepper. So all I'm doing here is I'm forming the burger patty from the, the unseasoned beef and we're going to put some salt and pepper on each side. Just form the patty and then I'll press down the middle so it cooks evenly. Now the size of your burger and the thickness kind of depends on what temperature you want to cook them to. And, and what surface you're cooking them on. You know, so if you like rare burgers, then you can definitely go a little thicker. You know, if you're doing it like a pan sear and you want a really nice crust, maybe you could do a smash burger style. You know, the main thing I'm pointing out today, guys, is that you know, when you make a cheeseburger with you know, really high quality meat, really high quality cheese and butter, it becomes something actually healthy. So we got the burger patties, heavy black pepper and salt on each side. The, the black pepper flavor is really what makes it reminiscent of like, you know, a fast food cheeseburger. So definitely don't skimp out on the on the pepper or the salt. This might seem like a lot of salt, but a decent amount of it's gonna fall off on the grill. And we want these kind of like offset the fire, not on the fire. So maybe like, you know, just off to the right of the flame. So I have this steel pan on a high heat over here. We're going to use that to toast these buns with a little bit of the butter. Well, while that pan heats up, let's grate this cheese. So I like doing this on a plate or a paper towel, just a cheese grater. And this is the Emmentaler from Frankie's Syringe Meat. 
Uh, you know, you could do Emmental or Gruyere. Those are two really good melting cheeses. You know, surprisingly, something like Kraft American Cheddar. I mean, it's not good, but it's not as bad as some of the, you know, the highly processed garbage people are eating. So now I'm going to take two of our burger buns. Just, you know, some of that nice yellow grass-fed butter on each side. Just a really thin, even layer. We'll leave these on medium heat for a second. Let's go out and check our burgers. So not too bad. I mean, cooking's a little bit uneven, but you know, we'll get some nice char flavor on these. Nice. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty good. You know, we got some browning on this. Maybe we'll try to get a little more on that part. A little more on that part. Let's see if we could flip these burgers again. So we'll do maybe two more minutes on that side and then two minutes on the other side. You know, just to get the nice cross hatch pattern on these burgers. The even caramelized crust. So we got two buns finished. And we'll do two more because I'm making four burgers. The burgers are smelling really good. We're going to do one last flip. I think they might be overcooked though, so I want to check the temperature. That one's 109. 120. Yeah, that's a little high. Oh, my hand is burning. Ow. All right, so we're going to have to take this one off the heat. I think the rest of these are okay to go off. So I'm killing the gas. We'll come back out in a minute with the buns to put these on top. So we have our toasted bun bottoms. Right. Beautifully caramelized wood fired burgers. That are a little too big for our bones, but that's fine. So these are probably a little bit overcooked. I would say they're medium, which is more than I usually take them. I'm sure you guys can imagine the game plan. We're going to take some cheese. And what I actually do with this cheese is I kind of form it into a puck so that it doesn't fall everywhere on top of the burger. So I'm basically making like a mini patty with the cheese that I'm going to put on top. Oh, that burger juice is dripping all in the, uh, in the bun. It might make the bottom bun a little soggy, but I guess if you really wanted to, you could rest your burgers on a rack for a few minutes so that the, the juices don't make the bottom bun that soggy. I would guess this is about, you know, three quarters of a pound of cheese for four burgers. And you can go a little less, so. So there we have... Our four burgers with cheese on top. Hey, you know, we're not perfect. You know, the burgers are uneven sizing. The cheese is uneven. But we're going to put this in the oven on high broil. And this Emmentaler should melt. It might not melt that much, but we'll see. The last step here is I'm going to put just a little more butter on the top buns. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be insanely good. It really is a beef-based burger. Butter cheese beef amazing what one animal can provide and it's all delicious and healthy oh well the emmentaler is good you know sometimes you don't know with some of these raw cheeses they just don't melt that well but you know this emmentaler melts it perfectly oh that's hot oh such a little sissy boy I'm gonna let these burgers cool off for like five, 10 minutes maybe. All right, very simple. Let's take our burger. Let's take our top patty. I mean, it's not the prettiest burger, but it's okay, because I'm pretty. There's our uh, our cross section. Doesn't look bad. Definitely overcooked. This is like insanely delicious. You have the caramelized cheese, the caramelized burger buns, the meat. It's just, it's just insane. It is really overcooked though. Um, if this was less overcooked, it would be more enjoyable. 
That being said, the overcooked meat is definitely like more reminiscent of a fast food burger. For those of you guys saying, Frank, you're not carnivore, guys. If you notice, I'm spinning things off camera. Because if I swallow this burger bun, my pancreas might explode. If you guys have never had a burger with high quality meat, cheese, and butter, this is one of the best things I've ever had. Like, period. The only thing I would do differently is make the burger a little smaller, you know, because obviously this is a lot of meat for the amount of cheese and bun. I know you guys probably want my sister to taste this because you haven't seen her in a while, but she did eat like two pounds of pasta for dinner, but we'll make an exception today. Ooh. Big burger. Where'd that other one half go? Hello, I'm gonna now taste a delicious burger. Ooh, greasy burger. Mmm. 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 Really good burger. I love how juicy it is. Mm-hmm. Another cheese. What kind of burger is this? It's made with uh, Wagyu beef, raw cheese, and uh, some butter. Mmm. Really good burger. So despite eating three pounds of pasta earlier, she's still going to eat the burger. But uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know what you think of the recipe and mm. any other recipes you guys would like to see in the upcoming few weeks. You guys can go to frankiestreenagemeat.com. It's down in the description if you guys would like to buy the cheese, the beef. Uh, we have both the Wagyu ground beef and local New York grass-fed ground beef. So thank you guys for joining me today. Mm -hmm. And enjoy the rest of your night. Bye!